How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Taz Astrical. This is RimWorld. What more do you need in your life? As we go into speed frame, we go through storyline. We are up for some massive progress today. Now, why I say this is because we're... Pro oh, we found some gold. Oh, that's how you start an episode. We oh, and it's in a really good spot. Not tons, don't get me right. Or don't get me wrong. The only issue that I have with this spot is if we get the dug too deep event it's going to be extraordinarily bad for us however we will be able to fight them we'll fight them on the beaches down here and i suppose the turrets will sort of do something but we need it anyway because we can obviously from the last couple of episodes make advanced components for this we need components which we're in abundance don't worry about that steel we're fine with steel plus steel which funny enough we are actually mining out on this little section here and gold is the last one, I believe. But let me just check before I start talking nonsense. And gold. The steel sort of running in here. Well, that's a really good start for the episode. Let's go back on speed free as we go through story time. The plans for this episode. I'd like to get package survival meals done so then we can hunt, make a load of them. For, like you guys said, for emergencies, uh, tribute collector, we haven't got any. Now the Empire actually likes us. Perfect. So, research. So, we want to get Nutri-Paste done, which we're not going to make one. Then we're going to go into a package survival meals, which will make a lot. And it will be a really good food for if we have to leave the map again, which, let's be honest, we probably will. Then we have a sort of debate of what we want to do next, which is, you know, always interesting. Gun link could be good, but I do like all my pawns having helmets. Other than that, it's probably come down. I reckon it's come down to precision rifling so then we can get some better weaponry, which sort of makes sense, which then eventually will lead us to get, you know, the charge rifles and lancers. Okay, let's reinstall this down here. And let's get some gold. Gold! So, I'm hoping it's going to be a pretty popping episode. We do need to hold open that. Then if I go, everyone is restricted. But if I ban these doors, then they'll walk through. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everyone's down there pretty quick. Lickety squit, lickety split, lickety quick. I don't know what the word is. <laughs> Nutri paste, lovely. So then we'll go straight into package survival meals. And these are really quick researchers, which is obviously really, really tasty, really, really nice. There we go, that deep drill is coming straight down, so then we'll have some gold. So not connected to power. There we go. Because it was reconnected that side of the switch, which is off, then we can reconnect it to this side, which is on. So pretty nice, pretty nice. The question is, is what do we do with this one? How much steel are we rocking? About 3,000. So we could probably have this... Oh, okay. We could probably have this one down here with the other plus steel. I don't think we need to worry about steel at the moment with over 3k of it in the stockpile. Right, then we'll let them come through these doors. Hold open. I mean, we're looking really, really good. It is just the case of getting stuff done. The, clo the cloth, the cotton field is sort of starting to get going. And then we're pretty much on the ball with everything, really, aren't we? It's just the case of making sure we're ready for attacks. That's the only... Who's got a tattered apparel dog? What do you need, my man? Ah, it's because of the marine helmet. Okay. Clothes are starting to become an issue, but that's why we're now getting the cotton filled up now. Which will take a little bit of time, but I really like the fact that it's behind our walls, so it's semi-safe. All right, that's going to be reinstalled soon. And then we have more steel if I click on this. We have a chunk of steel up here as well. So we are pretty flying at the moment, I have to say. We're doing so well that you can properly see that we're progressing, which is, you know, really, really nice. I might make a dining room down here. But to be fair, moods are so sky high, I don't really think we have to worry too much. It's a nice position to be in that what, you know, the one that we are in. We will get back to hunting, but I think we'll just stall it for the time being. 
until we get package survival meals. All well, the power's gone out. Okay, okay. I mean, we are very power hungry at the moment, that is for sure. And obviously we don't want that being an issue when... Um, the problem is, is if we get attacked during the night. But we can switch a load of stuff off. You know, it's not like we can't do that. But the problem is, is we got an eclipse during the day, which means our solar panels weren't storing electric. So really, it's not my fault. It's the solar panel's fault. And you can take that to the bank. Okay, okay, there we go. So Plastil is coming in. It comes through quite slowly compared to other materials that we're deep mining. A lot of steel that we actually need to get through. Just going to make sure steel is actually allowed in this stockpile as well. Raw resources. Yeah. So there will be overflow if there needs to be, which is fine. And we'll just grab this, expand it just a little bit. Yeah, we've probably got too much steel at the moment, but we will fly through that very quickly as we always find out in this colony. Semi debating whether to get that steam geyser going. Just don't really know how I'm going to defend it. It's going to be a case of when we push this kill box out eventually. I'm going to keep mentioning it and never doing it. There we go. Some gold is coming in. Plastil is coming in. You know, these are important resources that we need. Loving it. What we got? What's Whistler making? Uh, Flak Helmet. Okay, so that will start to use components and steel as well, I believe. Just need more cloth at the minute. That's the problem. Not a bad problem to have by any stretch of the imagination. And research is flying, so it looks like we're actually going to hit our goals of today. Okay, why are you smelting that is the question. I'm just going to do that. Because you'll keep smelting something that we clearly need. Then if I go Whistler and I... So what will you smelt? Oh, there we go. The Marine Helmet, which is fine. There's no point keeping around stuff that we're not going to use anymore. So anything that's... I know we can sell it, but our main plan is to sell the chem fuel. And we get a little bit of plastic back from it, so. Alright. Okay, yeah. So all this is like tainted stuff, so you'll be getting rid of that. The power's gone out, which is a bit disappointing. Um, what else can we do for power, I suppose, is the question. I don't want to get back into having chem fuel generators, because that is just sad. Like more solar panels. I, I feel like we're getting to the point where maybe we've got too many. Perhaps I'm looking at it wrong. Uh, remove. Not quite a few solar panels. I don't want to be like overly reliant on them, but. I think what I could probably do. Let's get another one here. But so this isn't a one by one. Build that copy of the door there. Deconstruct that. And then mine. Mine up to there. So then it's a two by two and people aren't going to get stuck behind it. That door can hold open. And then haul all these granite chunks as always. Thing is, we need to be making money to get all these barrel replacements for when the mortars go out. And the mortars have already come in clutch for us quite early on. If I reinstall that down here, push this down, and we'll get some more solar panels in here as well. Obviously, I'm just getting nervous now if we get, or when we get, things drop in on us. It's going to be quite brutal, but I'm hoping that's going to be at the point where we're nearly like, where we've built the spaceship, we're trying to escape, and then that sort of stuff comes, because then it doesn't matter too, too much if we lose too much, if that makes sense. Obviously, it still does, but, you know, once we get the quest or once we build our spaceship, 
we activate the quest and then it's basically like a timed thing we've just got to survive you know then it's not it doesn't matter if we're losing the base because we're about to leave anyway do you know what i mean right, let's build three more solar panels as i stutter my words and then we can build this up uh, research that. Perfect. Now we can go precision rifling. We're smashing through um, the research, which is really good. I am conscious that eventually Cassandra is going to hit us with an event that we're going to have to, you know, that's going to stall progress. So what I like to do while we're on, we're rocking and rolling at the moment, you know, let's really, really go for it. What I'm tempted to do is put a dining room there. You know what? Why not? Let's go wooden door. Because then they'll get, if they don't have a table to sit at, um, they will get the 8 without a table modifier. That table's probably a little bit too big. Um, so, you know, anytime we can offset a small negative, because it's all the small negatives that obviously create massive problems. Hasn't got to be amazing. And then we'll get one statue in here. It's only meant to be a small little room. Nothing crazy at all. We might have to go to the art bench and actually... That's not the art bench. And start making stuff out of... Um, Because we don't have the marble, so we're going to have to switch everything over to granite, really. Which is a little bit of a shame, but it is what it is in the position that we're in. Uh, do we need another light down here? No, I didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to double click the lamps. Here we've got a lamp in there, so we'll just... Install it there. Yeah. Why not treat ourselves? I was really excited at that. So now we've got survival meals. Let's add a bill, add a bill. Survival meals. Let's pause. That's gone to the bottom, right? Yep. So, cancel that straight away. So, we want... There we go. Times four. I'm not going to do the single ones because... Mm, I probably should. So, this is just going to be with meat. So, let's make sure we have uh, no human meat. It can have insect meat. That's fine. Don't know if I want to use fungus in this. So for the time being, I'm going to not allow fungus in this. Um, how many will we want? Should we say just 120? Nothing too crazy. Then unpause at 40. Not going to do fungus for the moment. Because we're using our fungus for a lot. And I don't want to stretch it too thin. And then it come back to bite us in the bum. Do you know what I mean? Once we... Once we're caught up... Oh, I clicked four again. Once we're caught up on everything and we're like, okay, actually, we've got so much fungus, don't worry about it. Then that's fine. Then we'll set up another survival thing to add fungus and then meat as well as a combo. Saying that, we do need vegetarian as well, so I don't think that works. So, okay, that's fine. Cancel everything else. Fungus and meat, but let's just make sure human meat is off. Insect meat can stay on, though. Do until you actually i'll turn insect meat off for this i won't use insect meat for packaged all right there we go so then we'll go back to the times four now knowing that we need one vegetarian and then one other thing yeah because it says up there sorry i'm being silly combination of meat and plant ingredients needs one nutrition each so just ignore everything i just said i'm a wise man but not always the wisest that's like a Gandhi quote. I'm not saying Gandhi said it. I'm saying I like Gandhi. Okay, let's get back into hunting. Um, let's hunt quite a lot because actually we have made quite a lot of progress this episode. So I am happy with that being stalled ever so slightly in so we can get survival meals, which are just going to be better when we leave the map. And equally, if power goes down and we are in massive trouble, that will also help. Right, there we go, some solar panels up, and I can already see it in the car. That looks tasty for an airdrop to drop in and just destroy all this, but it is what it is. 
end of the day, you can only be ever, you can only be so defensive in this game before it's like, well, I've always, why is that dining table, why is that dining chair better than this? What? 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 What's what, what going on? Titled Failure Number 14. <laughs> Fair enough. Titling a chair. Oh, that's titled Freedom. <laughs> I love the idea that, oh, Chris, you haven't named it Freedom again. It's just a chair. I name all my work. <laughs> okay, research is a flat. The problem is, is as quick as the plasteel is being mined, it's being used. That's the only problem that we've got at the moment. Steel's gone down quite a bit this episode. We used about 600, but it is there to be used. We just want to keep an eye on it. We won't want it to get too, too low. Here we go. The hunters are coming in, which is perfect. What are you making today? Be cool if we could get survival meals, but I think we're quite far away. We're still on, like, carnivore meals. Aren't we? Don't actually know what you're making. I'm not actually even looking. Oh, we are making survival meals. Huzzah! Yes. Because aren't the carnivore meals... No. <laughs> no idea. Oh, I need to copy that one over. Uh, copy. Come over here. Paste. So then we have both the cooks. Uh, oh, no. Both the cooks helping as and when. Paste. There we go. So why are the carnivore meals not getting done? Need a minimum of six cooking, which they should both have, but I will check. And you just need meat. I wonder if they don't have enough. They need three. I'm not quite sure why they're prioritizing survival over the carnivore, which is interesting. I reckon probably they're. They've. Oh, they just started making it. I wonder if. No, they didn't. Oh, because they're, they're stuck on fine meals. Gotcha. Yep, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, hunting is back on the menu, which is obviously really, really perfect for our colony. Let's just harvest the map. We'll start hunting elephants and stuff like that soon, but we'll do um, the stuff that we don't have to worry about as much first. The cotton is growing. We've got ambrosia to harvest, which can get us some coinage. Basically, we're going like mass production, mass money making. This colony is getting built for it. More plasteel that's just getting used rather, rather quickly. But Mel is making a bionic arm. Lovely. I assume we don't have any other bionic things available. The thing is... Oh! You're making an advanced component. We have got 12 advanced components. So we're actually starting to make them slowly. I wonder if that's what they're getting used on straight away. Okay, some visitors. Of course they want to visit us. We're amazing. Who are our hunters, just to remind me? Komodo and Chieftain. Komodo... Okay, Komodo, your moving speed isn't great, is it, man? I'm going to take you off hunting because we're going to start hunting elephants and stuff. So basically, I want to make sure whoever's doing that can get away. Chieftain can because he's got that jetpack. So, and he's got a sniper rifle as well, which obviously is very, very nice. So who else can help? Purple would be really good. Purple, because he's got a stun. His movement isn't great, but it's 93%. So purple, welcome to the hunting squad. Uh, I'll hold left shift, so then do whatever you... Finish whatever you're doing, then come um, get a sniper. Could we get one more hunter, just so we can get hunting done, like, quite quickly? Whistler. Aisha's got a bit of a pattern, passion for it. The problem is, is she's our grower, and I don't want to take away from growing. So, Whistler, I wouldn't mind you coming away. No, 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 no. That's fine. Just two hunters is okay. I like people having a passion for it, so... Um, saying that, we probably should trade with these jokesters here. 
every opportunity we really need to be trading. And I'm glad we did because they have a reinforced barrel to sell. So we will buy one of them. Still won't buy that chem fuel, which is interesting. But then they won't buy our furs. I think we just need the right person. Um, let's sell some just clothing, I suppose. We're just smeltering it anyway. Because to be fair, it just takes up so much room. And by the time a trader comes... Get rid of that as well. We've got one reinforced shell, which is lovely. Have you got anything else for us? We don't like using drugs, do we? I'm sure we've been through this. Right, let's sell that. I have got medicine, but I don't think we need to buy any. I've got some components. I'm not really interested. Okay. Just remind me. Do we like drugs? I feel like we've been through this before. Drugs use. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's it. Only the use of medicine and direct medical care. We don't like drugs. Yeah, I was, I was about to say, I'm sure we've been round this roundabout, round this carousel. Um, Aisha, can you pull that reinforced barrel? So I'm really glad actually we did trade with them because every opportunity where we can get a reinforced barrel, we're going to have to keep buying them. Because we can't make them and it will just mean our turrets and everything will just go down. Which, I don't need to tell you, is not great. I think the stockpile probably don't want to get much bigger than this, to be honest. Otherwise it will get carried away a little bit. Gold is flowing into the treasury though, so that's nice. That's really positive to see. I still would like two more... Colonists at a push. No more, no more. But like two more, I think, would just be the cherry on the cake, so to speak. Okay, I'm going to come off these. Let's get some real meat coming in. And what I'm going to see is which elephants are closest. So then if we have to run... Right, these elephants here I'm going to set up to hunt. Yeah, they do have a chance to attack us. T, where are you going? You're coming all this way to Butcher. I don't know if I like that. All right, Chieftain's hunting. Hopefully T can get back. Well, T's going that way, so that's fine. Chieftain's got a stun. He's got a jetpack. So if stuff goes really wrong, like I have faith that he can get himself out of trouble. The thing is, elephants are going to hold so much more meat than other things. I mean, Chieftain, you've probably nearly got that killed, yeah. I know you want to meditate, but I am going to keep you on that elephant. Because actually, you've nearly got it killed. And it would help the cooks just having a load of meat, do you know what I mean? Just obviously very careful that these elephants are quite near. Um, while you're here, Chieftain, I'm keeping an eye on your mood. Let's get you into a better position. Uh, you can take that boomalope out there there we go so then that will get hauled by someone this elephant is basically down and out come on oh purple you ruined all my fun there you go chieftain job well done yeah I just totally forgot you could just walk up to it and do that <laughs> it's fine it's fine there we go. The champs doing some plastil. Two on plastil, one on that. All the batteries are storing electrics, so they're all at full capacity, which is good to see. So with that being said, let's add a couple of batteries just to complement that. So we can store as much power as possible. Elephant Revenge. So this is... So Chieftain, you need to get out. Is it just that one coming at me? Looks like it. So Purple, you're going to come down and just help Chieftain. You two can both fight this together. You've both got stuns. You've both got decent weapons. 
I was just making sure that there were no other elephants that were angry. There we go, perfect. So then, no, purple, you come and haul that elephant. Chieftain, you haul that elephant. Not consume. Don't be a monster. Haul. Lovely. And that would be a great source of meat between them. Uh, why is it not letting us on speed free? Why are you cleaning up here, Aisha? Like, I appreciate helping the cause, but then there's just wasting your time. There we go. Lots of elephant meat, which is going to be lovely. Yeah, look, we've got so much back here as well. Cool, cool, cool. So our meals are flowing. Let's just open that up to see that on the left-hand top corner. Yeah, we are flying now. Because I don't... I don't the, the, blah, 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 blah. the only problem that obviously we're going to come a cropper is if we have major power problems. I feel like we've sorted that now with the addition of more solar panels. We'll create problems, obviously, if we get attacked, but we'll have to deal with that as and when we get that. And we can still lure them back through this kill box. It looks jaggedy, but I promise it works like a charm. Just obviously takes a lot of steel to repair all these traps, because they're all steel traps. Other than that, I think actually today has been a re... I always say today's been a good episode. I always do it, party people. You know me, I love this game, and I love to try and convince myself, but... We've smashed two researchers out. We've started survival meals. We're making advanced components. Like, we are flying. Let's open that. 15 advanced components. Like, we're getting to the point party, people, where we're going to be winning. Who would have thought it would have happened? Your boy has done you proud. Ah, uh, Plastil. Yeah, the Plastil's the only thing. But, now we're going to start to accumulate more silver because we have got more stuff to sell. Obviously, getting back to um, clove productions is going to be the next thing. Just so, obviously, we can kit people out. Because if you look up top, you know, people haven't got armour. They haven't got clothes. It's just, yeah, not a great time in that aspect. But I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy as a happy man can be. Tempted to mine this to get some more batteries down here. And I am going to do it. And we'll get some more rows of batteries. I'll probably um, reinstall them, what is it, horizontally rather than vertically. The comments, if I get that wrong. I'm sure that's right. I'm still a bit nervous because it's coming down to our bug box, but we have more important problems to deal with. Uh, I do need to sort out this little cave-in down here. Bulk's good trader. This could be the one. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on to your horses, party people. A bulk's good trader should be buying our chem fuel, surely? So if we sold it all... Wouldn't make as much as I thought. Wouldn't make as much as I thought. But it's relatively non-expensive to make. Okay? Um, so yeah, it shouldn't be down high because it is really inexpensive to make if we think about it. Equally, then we can sell all our levers. Because I always like to sell everything first. To see how much money we've actually got to work with. Then go from there. We could sell the jade. which I think we'll start holding on to stuff now. Because we're not desperate to sell it. Okay, I think that's us done. Actually, they don't really have anything to sell us. And that gets us about 3,000 coinage. So first of all, let's buy all your gold. Let's not buy all your gold at that price. Wow. <laughs> I redact that statement. I redact it. Um, is there anything else we really want? The plasteel would be good. So we'll take that because, yeah, we do need that. Uh, medicine, we don't need that. We're producing our own. You have got some advanced components too, so we'll take them. And then we'll take a load of components. I know we're making a lot, but at the same time, that will... Just help for offset the amount we're using. And I think that's a good deal. We need to make more chem fuel. More money. I think I'm happy. I think I'm happy. I'm just having another check. Yep. Okay. Accept. Okay. We did some good business there, I feel. Got a lot of important resources. I uh, should probably hold the advanced components and whatnot first. 
because I don't think Plasteel actually deteriorates, which it doesn't if it's left outside. So there we go. Not um, a, like a crazy like deal. However, we're up in Chemfield production. Yes, it's gone to my head party, people. It's made 5,000. It is so non-expensive to make. Obviously, it's only time consuming and you can... You, I suppose you, the only argument you can make is there could be better use for our time. I would argue we've got so much fungus that we actually need to use it to free up space. Let's double click. There's 2,400 in here. Do you know what I mean? So, is there no veggies in this? Oh, no, there is raw fungus and elephant meat. Contains meat. Okay. Because it's red, I thought it was like meat only or something. Here we go, 175. And we'll have some um, elephant levers and stuff to sell, which would be quite nice. Uh, what else is on the map for us to hunt? Are oh, more elephants. I don't want to go miles away, just in case people do get into problems. Don't actually think we're going to have a choice. Just says 50% chance to attack. Boomalopes only have 10%. Anyway, let's get rid of... The alpacas are having a hard time. There we go. There's an elephant there. Ah, oh, I thought the elephant was um, dead, but it was like the dead monkey behind it. Okay. Let's hunt all them, because the elephants are giving us so much meat. I think we're silly not taking advantage of that, to be honest. And yeah, brilliant episode. Brilliant episode. If you got to this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. And I'll catch you next time, party people. Bye.